Hello, my people. Welcome back to my channel. Marco here for another BI reaction. Today, we're checking out his brand new music video for Wish You Were Here. This is his very first official Japanese single. And we begin this music video with BI sitting on a giant melting clock. If you don't know this image, if this image is not familiar with you, then get familiar. Google the giant melting clock. Well, I mean, giant here. It's not necessarily giant in <laughs> the original painting. Of course, this is the work of art from world-renowned artist Salvador Dali. And uh, Salvador Dali, I think he painted first painted the persistence of memory is what this is actually called in 1931. Don't quote me on that, but I believe it's 1931. So the imagery of the melting clock goes way, way back. And uh, no pun intended. <laughs> this is not surprising to me. To see B.I. appreciate Salvador Dali in this fashion, uh, you know, it's actually a little surprising that he hasn't done this sooner. Or maybe he has, and I just am not aware of what other previous video, music video content he's done to appreciate Salvador Dali. But this is not unlike B.I. B.I. is an old soul. He loves his art, artwork, um, the works of many other artists. So... Yeah, I, I'm quite impressed with just this image alone. <laughs> I don't know what the rest of the song sounds like, but the imagery alone, gotta love it. All right, let's get into this. B.I.'s Wish You Were Here. And here we go. God, I love the makeup, man. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I oh wow. Wow. Standing on it. Oh, my God. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, he just has to look at us. Wow. 
That was a long walk. Oh my god. <laughs> boy, oh boy, I should have known. I should have seen this coming. I should have known. I should have known. Um, you know, I don't even have the English lyrics, the official English subtitles, but I could feel what he was feeling. And um, you know, the video, this music video is super simplistic. I love this. I love this in the beginning, how you can feel the texture of the clock hear the melting clock as it flows like water right i wish you were here, here. oh i love that yeah so this is definitely one of um bi's sentimental genre of songs which i love bro I don't know if that's the right melody. Uh, this instrument, this instrumental that's being used, this is really fucking cool. It sounds whiny, like it's whining. You know how a baby will whine in the background or an adult, anybody, a teenager would whine in the background and it's like, wow, 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 wow. It sounds like that. But whatever this sound is, whatever instrument is making this sound, it sounds like it's crying, like it's wailing. Not just whining, like, oh, stop whining. It's wailing, like, it's crying, right? It's begging for something. Sorry if that's annoying. I just have to follow the melody to point it out. Love his makeup, bro. I always point out makeup in uh, these videos. Like, I love, love, love the lips. The color of the lips matching the eyeshadow. This is all purposely done. This is not by mistake. These makeup artists are so great at showing us how sad and yet beautiful things can be at the exact same time. The look. That got me. That got me. That got me. Holding his breath. Waiting, waiting, the music. And then the hit with the beat, the drop with the beat. I find that every time, this is what's so great about this music video. And we're going to go through this again because it's, I could be wrong. But from just my memory of watching it through the, the very first time here, it's so interesting that every time B.I. looks at the camera, it's a moment. It is a moment because we spent so much time of him looking down, looking away, lost in his thoughts, lost in his feelings, right? But the moment when he looks up at the camera, it is a moment. They wanted those moments in the music video to pack a punch. And they pack a punch right off the bat here. 20 seconds in, 22, 23 seconds in, 22 seconds in, beautiful. I die. A lot of open space in this video. Oh my god, the haziness, the haze, the filter, the blue, the blue, beautiful turtleneck, but the blue surroundings. Oh, this is so good. See, looking off to the side, looking off to the side. Then he looks dead. Doesn't even look at us. He looks, he looks down and then looks away. There's that wailing again. <laughs> oh, I love when he goes into his high voice. <laughs> there you go. So if we want to talk about these red swirly strings, rope i don't quite understand what this is supposed to be representing could it be the veins the arteries to the heart because we sh they they show the heart afterwards and that oh my god the way they show it is so beautiful i love how creative this is see it's the simple things it's the simple things that pack a punch that uh you can really get creative with in showing 
in a music video. So I'm taking this as either the red veins that tie to the heart or red string and red string has a lot of meaning in different cultures the red bracelet or red string or red thread meaning varies slightly in different cultures but nowadays it is almost always associated with luck and protection when worn around the wrist it is believed to protect the wearer from harm and bring good luck in some cultures the red thread is also worn as a symbol of faith in their spiritual beliefs so we have the persistence of time from salvador dali we have the red string symbolism here or the vein to the heart could be either or right okay <laughs> i just love how it's floating all around him and there's a bit of movement to it too whether it's the camera or the strings themselves the threads themselves And that's the thing. I mean, we've talked about this before with a lot of B.I. songs. If you listen to the beat, just the beat, right? Take away his voice and just listen to the beat. It sounds rather uppity and cheerful. You know, there's a skip to its step. And yet the song is pretty sad. So B.I. has a great way of just blending in sadness with joy, joy with despair, despair with hope, right? <laughs> so good. Oh, my God. I love this. So we have an interesting shot here with this pocket watch and it's hanging by a chain. And then we cut to B.I. Who seems just by the way he's sitting at the giant thread as if he's tied down or hanging from a giant rope, right? Is he... The watch, is he the clock? Ticking away? Running out of time? Mm, his sweater, I love this sweater. I notice it's a lot more grayish than I initially thought. Uh, blue could be just the lighting, but I guess, I guess it's a mixture of both. I love the rings. Looking down, blinks. Blinks again. Blinks again. Oh my god, the colors. And then we get, oh my god, this is so beautiful. Talk about melting clock, right? We have the clock that's actually melting. The threads represent it melting without actually having it melt in the traditional sense. <laughs> this is actually so fucking cool that they did this. Wow. The heart! The heart! Oh, this is so cool. It took me like a second to figure out what is he holding? A potato? <laughs> what is this? Like a sweet potato? <laughs> yeah, if B.I. was holding a sweet potato in this way, like holding it like this, I would still get it. I would still be like, that's supposed to be the heart. That's interesting. Using a sweet potato as the heart. Okay, cool. No, that's so cool. I love this. Too close to the edge, my bro. Looking away. See, looking away again. Oh, he starts the shot looking at us here. There you go. And then he looks away. There you go. There you go. Ooh, there you go. There you go. So I was talking about the red threads and um, it leading to the heart. And he, you have all the red threads here leading, making up this heart, right? So I, it could be either the red string for good luck and warding off evil spirits and all that. Or it's all the veins leading to the heart. It could be both, right? It could be both. Maybe there's just no one specific answer. It's both. It's more tonight. 
the light changes now. Just sitting there with the melting clock and oh, is that the one string that's actually attached to him? That's the longest he's looked at us in this whole video right here. And it's for the lyrics, I wish you were here. That's the longest he's, I think, well, actually, wait, maybe not. This shot's longer, so I'm gonna say yes. Yeah. And him walking away now is actually, okay, I see, I see. So it's almost as if um, the string is holding him back. He's hanging by a string, hanging by a thread as the saying goes, right? Uh, he's sitting down and you have the thread. He's standing up, you have the thread. But now at the end of the song, he's able to walk away freely, walk away towards us wish you were here while well, he's coming to us now so yeah this uh this video is so simplistic but there's a lot going on in it and uh bi is just bi so obviously he's gonna make it even more than what it might read on paper right so yeah absolutely love the song love the video the song is going on the playlist uh i'm i'm just ah, yes 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 more bi yes 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 to more bi and i know this uh belongs to an ep so we are going to be checking out the ep really 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 soon so stick around for that guys guys what did you think of this music video what did you think of this song let me know in the comments below that's gonna be it for today thank you so much for spending all this time with me as i check out bi's very first japanese single wish you were here and like I said, we will be checking out the EP really soon. So please stick around for that. Until then, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll speak again real soon with some more BI, baby, on the way. Take care, guys. <laughs>